This is the Alaskan Tundra. The area may look deserted, quite barren, but is home to a diverse amount of life that is specially adapted to live in this climate. During our time in Alaska, we were able to see quite a few species of animals. Although these animals are very elusive and can be very hard to find, there were always signs of life around us, including this little starfish that had washed up on the beach. Some of these signs of life were a little less glamorous than others. However, some of these signs of life were spectacular marvels of nature, like this bowhead whale skull. As you can see, these creatures' heads are massive compared to our team. These whales can grow up to 60 feet in length and weigh up to 100 tons. It's a big whale skull. It's cool. There was also a host of great white fronted geese around the research facility. These geese spend their summers in Alaska to breed and raise their young and then migrate 6,000 miles to Southern California and America to warm up the winter. We also got to see Arctic fox. During the winter, these foxes have white coats that help them to camouflage into the snowy landscape. They then shed these coats for the summer and take on a gray brown fur that helps them to blend into the brush and barren rock faces. Other animals were very camera shy. One day on the beach, we caught a glimpse of white fur off in the distance. However, when we arrived at the spot, there were only paw prints. The paws of the polar bear. The mother bear and the two cubs jumping in the water. So this is a track of the polar bear. With polar bears being able to smell up to one kilometer away, it makes sense that these guys were able to escape before we were able to see them. And with them being able to swim to 62 miles at a time, they probably wouldn't be back for a little while. However, even though these polar bears ran from us, they still pose a great threat to humans. During the trip, we needed a polar bear guard to follow us with a shotgun at all times in case of a polar bear attack. Dr. Zhao was very appreciative of it. Okay. Oh, that's all. Oh, Matt. Thank you, Matt. You're the best. <laughs> but it is not only the large animals that we needed protection from. Oh, this kind of aluminum protective uh, cover that a fox will not bite onto it. We already have a fox and chewed and broke over the table. I just spice it. Although our team is doing research here to help the Alaskan people navigate these rising temperatures and its effect on their infrastructure, we also recognize the rising temperatures are affecting these animals as well. This land is where these animals live, hunt, and raise their young, and any change to it could pose a great threat to their species. It is times like this that we realize the research we do is not only for the communities in this area, but also the nature that surrounds them.